Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of The Most. The Most Electrifying. The Most Electrifying. Without a shadow of a doubt. The people Most say. Electrifying Career Mode in FIFA 24 Entertainment. I said FIFA again. I'm still not used to saying EAFC 24, but we'll get there. Just give me some time. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, make sure you check the playlist on the channel to get up to date with this series so far. There's only been three episodes, but they are very worth checking out. So you know all of our transfer targets, all of the players in the squad, everything that we've been through so far, which has been quite a lot because I do tend to yap a lot in these videos. Today is going to be a big episode. We have three games in the league as well as the end of the transfer window. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see how we get on in these games and who we end up signing before deadline day because we definitely need to make some signings. We're definitely going to look to try and sell some players and there's going to be some big changes to the squad for this first season at the club. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 5k and if we get it before the end of the month, I'm going to have an absolute gaff in ours and you're all invited. <laughs> But um, yeah, man, check the links in the description below as well to find my Twitch channel as well as the Discord server. I stream over on Twitch. Um, I haven't been recently because I've been working so much on the YouTube. But once we get back into Twitch content, I'm going to start playing Ultimate Team, Pro Clubs, a lot more FIFA content over there, as well as non-FIFA content. You know, I like to play a variety of games on Twitch, Overwatch, Genshin Impact, story games, all of that good stuff. So check that in the link below. And in the intro to this video, I said this was the most electrifying career mode in EAFC 24. However, we have some competition for that title of the best series on FIFA 24. And that is because yesterday I started the player career mode for FC24. I could not wait to start that series and hopefully you are enjoying it. I'm recording this video before it's gone live actually, so I don't know what the response is. But um, yeah, if we get the same amount of support as we did on this career mode, then all I have to say is... Words. Thank you for the support. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check that out. It's part two in a series that we are going to be running for years on this channel. The JoJo's Player Career Mode. Most innovative, most creative series on the platform of YouTube. But with all of the intro stuff out of the way, let's get into the first game of the episode. Like I say, we've got some transfers to come. But we do have some scout reports that need to come back first. So we need to advance a few days and we need to get this game out of the way. Before we jump into it though, I mentioned last episode, we've got Lehman as our club captain right now. I thought this guy was going to be the German Morgan Elliott, but this guy stinks. So I've said, should we give him the captain's armband or who should we change it to if we were going to take it off him? And Kragenwagen left the comment saying, make Bauer the captain, then he can grow into the role and be the future ghost like Morgan Elliott. And I replied saying, that's a lot of weight and pressure to put on this young lad's shoulders, 19 years old, to be the club captain at 55 overall. But if you've seen how this guy's been performing... I'm down for it. Let's give him the captain's armband and let's hope that gives him the extra boost he needs. Look at that. He's showing up on the right hand side now. Gold hair today. Yeah, gold hair today. This guy's a super saiyan, bro. We've already mentioned it. We know about this guy and let's get into the first game. We're playing Ingolstadt. Don't know who they are. Pre-match report. Five back formation. Little sweats. Let's get into it. There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this gargantuan clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Two high-level sides ready to go at it. Stay tuned for all the action on EA TV. Commentators hyping this one up massively. Ingolstadt must be a good team if uh, the commentators are getting that hyped about this game. But let's get into it, man. We've got a new camera on, by the way. This is the co-op camera uh, with custom zoom and height. I put the zoom to zero and height to 20. So let me know what you think of this camera. I've been experimenting with a few different cameras, bro. I just can't seem to find one that I proper click with yet on this game. But let's see how co-op does. Here's Bauer straight away picking up the ball with the captain's armband on his wrist. I say on his wrist because it definitely won't fit on his bicep, bro. Have you seen the size of his arms? Yeah, his arms look like the size of my head, bro. I swear down, he's like the rock. Big head there from the little layman into Klein. Lehman's got a lot to prove here. Otherwise, he might be getting sold in this transfer window. I know we love to make uh, club legends on these creator club series, but 
<laughs> it's time to go when it's time to go. Big tackle there, Schmidt. These Schmidt brothers are so good. And look at that for a clearance into his brother. Like, they just know where each other are. They don't even need to look, you know? They can just sense where each other are. Can we play through Bauer? Already the new club captain. What a save that is. Oi. Yo, Bauer's sick, man. This guy's so good. What? Let's go. Oh, I'm so hyped to play this career mode today, I swear. Bauer, what a turn. Look at the strength as well, ref. Look at that. He just put a man on the floor, ref. We'll have the advantage then. Oh, referee. Yeah, I'm excited for our scout um, to try and find us some defenders because that's where we're lacking. Apart from Bauman and centre-back, the lowest rated one of our defenders is the best one. It's crazy. But all our other defenders seem to just get skinned. Well, I say all the others. I mean, literally, the other centre-back and the right-back. They just be getting skinned, bro. But Schmidt in left-back and Bauman in left-centre-back, they are good players for the rating especially. Big tackle, Schmidt. You see what I mean, bro? Hey, some of these players, Bauer, what a turn again. Ref, thank you, lad. These people just keep hitting Bauer, but he says, lad, do you not know who I am? Jack Bauer, 24 hours in a day. You know what? I'm making him number 24 after this game. I don't care, lad. 22 is a cool number. Shout out Bellingham, but he's got to be 24, bro. He's Jack Bauer. You know what I mean? Oh, the right back getting skinned again. Frederick has not had a good game here. But luckily, none of these players can cross on their team. I don't know why that's all they're doing. That's the only game plan here. Can Bauer find the ball back? That's a lovely pass into Carlos Huerta. Can Huerta cook inside? Oh, we had man in the middle, but it's always our last pass. That's where we're lacking the quality. Quality in the midfield, though, from Schmidt. Nice, Schneider on the turn. Back into Carlos. Schmidt on the overlap. Schmidt, early ball into the box. And again, Bauer's in there. Win that! It's up! Lehman! Oh, Lehman! Let's go! Second time lucky. Second time lucky, the man who was fighting for his place at this club. Bloody hell, lad. How's he got Bauer on his back? He must have some strong legs in, bro. He must be squatting every day in the gym. There's no way you can hold that 6 foot 5, 230 pound brolic man on his back. I can't believe we missed the first shot, though, lad. If we missed that second one, I don't even know what I would have done. Lehman was getting released from his contract, never mind sold. But a nice goal there to open the score, and let's go. Nice tackle, Klein. I like this formation, having, like, the two strikers, but one of them playing in the middle camp. Acting more like a centre-forward than a striker. I like it. Schneider on the turn. We've got Bauer. Bauer to find the ball to Lehman. Lehman for two! A terrible first touch. But again, like his first goal, a terrible first shot. He's capitalised on the second chance. I've given him a second chance in the team. And he has taken it. This man, he knows about second chances. But again, it's Jack Bauer who is the man setting it up. That is terrible defending though. How <laughs> did not intercept that off the bad first touch? <laughs> oh, he was the club captain as well. But we don't care. Yeah, come on. Again, another cross into the box. Keeper, that's an easy catch, bro. That was literally from the edge of the box, lad. Yeah, let's get some subs in because our players are tired. I always forget that players have low stamina. The right back's been getting skinned, so let's bring on uh, Kohler at right back. Klein's had a decent game, but I'm going to bring on Freddy in Cam Freddy Kruger. That's my guy. I really like this player right here. Big clear instead of Lehman. Lehman's really showing out. He's trying to change the mind of the fans. People calling him lame, man. In the comments. <laughs> He's trying to change the mind of the fans here. Get that out, Bauman. Big head son. And again, Schmidt. Big head son. And again. Easy. Lovely throw. Carlos, start. The counter charge. He's got it. Schneider. He's got it. Bauer. Inside. Freddy Krueger in off the bench. Oh, I thought it was in, lad. Oh, lad, I was about to stand up and start celebrating and singing. I've been in your dreams, Freddy Krueger. Lad, that was like Sterling shot in the Euros that time. Do you remember when everyone thought it went him? He fooled the whole country because of the camera angle, bro. Big tackle Bauman again. Oh, my God. We don't even need any signings, bro. What's this about? Oh, yeah, first signing of the season. Don't even need it, lad. Because Harlow's worth it. Is playing through Jack Bauer. 
Bauer's off to the races, and Bauer, he, he, lad, he doesn't miss him there. He just doesn't miss him there, this guy. Club captain, Super Saiyan. Look at him, bro. Look at him. This guy is really like that. He is him. This is our guy for the season, man. Oh, lad, I hope EA bless us with some dynamic potential on this guy right here or something because he is cooking at 55 rated. You crazy. Bauer said, don't touch me. Bauer said, don't touch me, lad. Ref, I was at a foul, bro. Oh, it's our ball. That's what I thought, lad. We've just punched him up and we got the foul. Let's go. 3-0 victory. Clean sheet as well. At home. That's what we love to see for the fans here in EM Arena. That is, of course... I know it's ME Arena. My bad. I'm stupid, bro. <laughs> I was saying it like it was Elliot Morgan, as if he's Japanese, bro. Morgan Elliot Arena. You know the vibes. Lehman with two goals. Jack Bauer with the third. It's fantastic. The Fedora's crazy, though. The Fedora with the football kit is a crazy fifth. Albert Frederick has just asked me to renew his contract. Brother, my brother, we've been at this club for about two weeks. Who even are you? You're the right back who's just been skinned all game and you want a new contract. Are you sure about that, bro? Are you sure about that? All right, so we've got back all of those scout reports I did talk about. So let's go and check out the transfer targets. So we currently have 600k in the current budget as our transfer budget with £13,000 in the weekly wage budget. Let's go to the transfer hub, see all of our targets and see who we can try and bring in. Maybe we might get a little transfer before the first game or the second game of the episode. I'm forgetting I've just played one just then. I just want to shout out all of you guys who drop comments and help me out picking like this short list. I say short list, but it's a very long list actually <laughs> of players, um, especially in the last episode as well. Mohammed dropped a comment with all of these players you can see on screen here. A lot of them will feature on this list. A few players still with scout reports to come back, but uh, if we go like this, you can see if the player is willing to move or not. So a lot of the players like Andre Gomez say, looks like the player's unwilling to relocate at this time. That means we can't approach to sign them, but we could approach to loan these players that say unwilling to relocate. So right off the bat, I'm seeing Gomez as a 400 pounds wage. I'm gonna to approach to loan him because 400 pounds is absolutely nothing. I would try setting up a loan to buy, but our finances are uncertain right now. So let's just go for basic terms. A two year loan, are they willing to do that? Nah, they want one year, that's fine by me though. Let's get a one year loan going uh, and we'll split the wages 50-50. Is that sound? That's fine. Let's go. It's been agreed. Now it's just up to Gomez to accept it. Because it said he was unwilling to relocate, actually, I'm not sure if he will accept it, but we'll have to advance a few days and just see. But let's see who else we're looking to bring in. I've been informed as well that this free agent here, yeah, yeah, this guy is in everyone's career mode saves. So go and find this guy in the free agent, Nimrod Pap. I called him a Nimrod and removed him from the shortlist because he was 51 overall. But look at his stats, bro. 73 pace, decent shooting and passing, 63 dribbling, but he's a right wing back. But I've been told that if you convert him to a right mid or a right winger, then he goes up to like 60 overall. So it might be a shout just bringing this guy in. He's young, can play on the wing, another attacking option. Uh, and he only wants 600 quid in his wage. Let's just go and get him, innit? I was just giving that advice to you guys, but I thought, you know what? We may as well. Rotation, because he's not going to be a starter. That's all he wants. 17 years old. Kind of looks like Morgan Elliott. He's got hints of Morgan Elliott there with the haircuts, you know? That's actually Morgan Elliott's haircut, bro. He must have watched the Dream Chasers in the last FIFA. Recommend the wages, um, 700 quid, but let's give him 500. No, let's not give him five grand. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, now nah, let's not do that. 500 quid, bro. That's gotta be sound. You're getting paid nothing right now. His client's happy. And welcome to the club, Nimrod Pap. That for real is Morgan Elliott, innit? Cash Money Mark's gonna see him and think, hold on, I thought you were dead, bro. <laughs> like that Ian Wright meme, bro, literally. Someone said you were dead. <laughs> Hello, Ian. Long time no see. Mr. Pig, then. <laughs> You're alive. I'm alive, he says. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. Someone said you was dead. <laughs> and he's like, oh, nah, mate. This is not the ghost of uh, Elliot's past. But this right here is Nimrod Pap. Terrible name. We're going to have to find a nickname for this guy if he starts playing well. But, um, yeah. Oh, lad, I've just thought, you know, with Kruger, we have Freddy Kruger that plays when he scores. If Nimrod Pap scores, we're going to have to play Paparazzi by Lady Gaga, aren't we? But let's uh, set that training plan on him to a right mid. 
or winger. And then let's see what he can grow into. Last, we've got another Jay Bauer at the club. Joshua Bauer and Julian. Obviously, Julian's not called Julian. He's called Jack. And let's change his kit number to 24. Contract expired in 10 months. Hold on. Let's just renew his contract right now before we do anything else. We're not giving money to these other players when our club captain's getting off in a month. Or 10 months, I should say. Let's give him some money. Obviously, let's keep it low. He wants important first team player. He knows how important he is to the club. Five-year contract, bro. Come home. Come home. That's what I'm saying. No release clause. And his current wage is 400. So let's give him 500 quid and hopefully he's signed with that. Because, uh, bro, we've got some big money signings. There we go. Jack Bauer. He, bro, this guy is my guy. He's my guy, I'm telling you. Oh, never mind looking at transfers, bro. Let's look inwards. Let's look at home. Our starting centre-back, Oliver Schuster, has one star weak foot, bro. <laughs> All right, back to the transfers anyway. So, what we need is a right-back, I think. You know, the centre-backs are decent. In fact, we could do with a centre-back. The centre-back I was looking to get was Ashley Phillips. As you can see, though, unwilling to relocate. We could try and loan this guy. £2,000 in the wage is a bit much, though. We might come back to Ashley Phillips later on in the video um, and just see what we're thinking there once we try and make some other signings because there's one main man I want to try and bring in and it will probably cost all of our money. So, you know what? Let's try and do that first, innit? Now, there's a lot of players I wanted to bring to this club, especially in the midfield. We've got Tyler Morton from Liverpool. He's out on loan. We've got Bajetic. He's too expensive. Uh, Bajetic definitely won that I'm looking to get, like, no matter what. Next season, he'll definitely be coming here. Uh, we've had a lot of comments, you know, a lot of players you can see here. Uh, you can probably see your comments uh, on this shortlist if you did drop any. But a lot of the players, especially this guy here I wanted to bring in too, especially Noah Lamardi. This guy looks unreal, bro. Unwilling to relocate this season, though. Even this guy, bro, Lennon Miller, 16-year-old from Scotland, unwilling to relocate from Motherwell. Come on, bro, it's not that big of a step down from the Scottish League to the, the German third division. <laughs> Another familiar face on this shortlist is Sydney Rabiger. And we did have two comments coming from uh, Sharon and coming from Omni Goku saying, can you bring Sydney back home? And I want to keep this career mode fresh, people. I want to keep it fresh and entertaining. And I have basically got my endgame squad in my head already for this career mode. And Sydney Rabiger, like, it would just be a shame given the storyline we had with Rabiger on last FIFA if we signed him again on this one we'd probably just end up with the same storyline and he'd just get pushed to the side and not be the guy that he should be, you know? So this career mode, I think I'm going to stay away from Sydney Rabiger, to be honest. Now, one man that I said we'll splash all the cash on and we might not have any left to get a centre-back, but it'll be so worth it. I mean, we definitely need defenders, but we've got our youth academy to rely on to bring us defenders, so I don't think we should waste money on them, you know? I think the midfield is definitely where we should focus the money. And we're not getting Andreas. Don't worry. This isn't a build-up to say we're getting Andreas. He's currently out on loan anyway, so we can't even think about that. So let's just try and risk it all. Because if I lose it all, slip and fall and die another day. If I lose we're going in for Joe Bellingham. He's only 64 overall. 17 years old. You just know about this guy. The surname Bellingham rings out across the world, bro. Incredible stats for a 17-year-old. Big build. Big man, 6 foot 2 at 17 is crazy, bro. 6 foot 2 at 17 is crazy. What? <laughs> um, yeah, and he's not unwilling to relocate, which is pretty pog. So let's try and get Joe Bellingham. Obviously, we can't afford that release clause, which would have been nice. But let's see if we can just approach the club directly and try and work something. Their asking price is 1.5 mil, which obviously we don't have. We have 600k. But let's see if there's any players that we can offer. You know, to try and get that. So, let's go for a player swap. I was going to offer Lehman, yeah. Oh, we might have to, boys. Because I was going to offer Jacob Horn. But 160k is not going to cut it, is it? It might have to be Lehman. Lehman just put in a great show. But we've got to think about the future. Lehman put in one great performance in, what, five? We can't have this, like, Chelsea type of performance, bro. One performance in five matches. I'm thinking about the future. I know people are probably gassed off Lehman's in that first game, but we're submitting Lehman and a transfer fee. They might not even want him. They've probably seen what he's done and thought, no, nah, we don't want this guy. Plus 600k, that might be too much. Let's see. Are we going to get Joe Bellingham? This could be huge. This could be huge. I thought it was very odd, isn't it? So they don't want Lehman, and I don't blame them. But they want 900k and a sell-on clause. 
Now, we don't have 900k, brother. I mean, realistically, the only other man we can offer is Cesar Huerta, but that's just a waste, bro. That's 8 million we could get off him for a player that's only costing 900k. You know what? We're gonna have to just we're gonna have to just leave it, bro. We're gonna have to leave it. Try and come back in a week's time or something. See if we can sell some players uh, and get the cash. Because I think we've got Lehman on the transfer list already. Now we haven't. But let's throw him on the transfer list, bro. I'm not happy with him, innit? Not happy with him. He's up to a uh, 64 overall. So we should get a decent amount of cash from him. Like I say, let's push for 600k. And then I mean, all we need is 300k. So we just need one player to sell, and then we can go back in for Job. But uh, loan off a decline for Andre Gomez. All right, so we don't have our goalkeeper. That's a big shame that is, however, a goalkeeper and the free agents, which we're scouting to see what his wage will be. Somebody dropped a comment saying uh, Jose Antonio Rodriguez, so let's go in for him. I'm also scouting up Yasuo Junten. Jun Tuten. Jan Tuten. Jan Tunen. What the fuck? Oh my days. <laughs> we're scouting this guy up, 500k release clause. It just came up in a little news feed thing that he's won for the future. So I don't know how trustworthy EA are with these, um, like, sign and things. Hey, Gaffa, I have to say I was pretty surprised to hear you're looking to sell me. I've really enjoyed my football here and it was up to me. I wouldn't want to go and play anywhere else. I'm just looking at options, Lehman. Now you've made me sad that you've said that, bro. We might just keep him, but, like, you know, he'll be the last resource because we only need 300k. But anyway, here's how the other team line up. s -Vine. Yo, is that the s -Vine? Nah, surely you'd have a picture if that was the s -Vine, bro. Here's how we line up, though. Full fitness on everyone. Let's jump straight in, bro. There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash. But now we need talk about it no more. And instead, focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle, no matter who you support. Drama guaranteed, and it's live, coming up next on EA TV. Be a cracking game, though. Shoots it out wide, where to let it run. Where to let it run, Bauer, I see you in the middle, bro. Bauer, I see you in the middle, bro. It's to the back post and Lehman's there. Go on, Bauer. Yo, what a save. Lad, there's no way he's hit that on the volley. I thought he was going to head at that. Yo, Jack Bauer. Oh, new number on his kit as well. 24, let me know what you think of that. Why is always the corners go to Klein? The smallest man on the pitch. Big tackle, Schmidt. Says our run, bro. We've got the counter here because the fullback's out of position. Says our inside, Klein. Can he find the pass to Bauer? No, but we've got numbers forward here. Look at our fullback bombing forward as a result of our tactical plan. But that is just trash. That's garbage. Can we keep the press on, though? Nice high press. Win that, Schneider. Nice. Klein, touch it. Schmidt. Inside. Bauer! He doesn't miss those! And it's Bauer again! This guy is unstoppable. He is inevitable. Then something just snapped. Something inside of me. No! No more! That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan. I didn't care if I lived. I didn't... This right here, bro. This Super Saiyan, he's gone Ultra Instinct again. Grey hair for this game. He just decides when and where to switch it on, bro. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, lad, this guy is incredible, man. This guy, look at the movement there to stay on side. A good first touch to set up the shot and he's beat the keeper to it. That's just striking. That is just top striker ability. How are you letting Klein beat you to a header? You should be embarrassed, whoever that was. Five for five, man, is. Lovely pass. Cesar, lovely counter. Schneider, again, Schmidt was through, bro. I like the attack on fullbacks. You know, once we get some actual decent players in the fullback positions, like Mina and Theon from last year, we're going to cook with these tactics. Bauman is incredible, bro. How is he 54 rated? This guy's insane. Nice. Bauer, what a pass into Cesar. And we've got Klein in the middle. Can we find him? Yes, we can. One more over, Klein. He's found Lehman. Big block. Come on. This is a nice play, though. Like, the lads are really clicking. We just needed some time to get used to each other and warm up um, in those first few games, you know. We lost, what, 4-1 in the first game of the season. Ignore that. It didn't happen. Here's Lehman from the edge. Oh, yeah, he's trash, isn't he? <laughs> No! Nice goal. It was Vesvan as well. Oh, 
Yo, it kind of looks like I'm in game, bro. Is that the S van? Surely would have had a picture. Or is that an S van regen? I don't even know, bro. Oh. 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 But I feel like I'm playing ultimate team. Are they just passing it around the back? It's our ball. Easy. Schmidt. Kruger. Oh, I hate it. I hate it here. I really do. We've been getting absolutely dominated and played about with, bro. Like an absolute slut all game. What a save. Get the ball out, you absolute gang of idiots. Oh, that's deserved. That's deserved. We f stink. What is this game, man? What even is this, lad? Why is Kruger so deep? He's our cam. Why has he got to be the one to pick up the ball there? Eh? Even Bauer can't even do nothing against these, lad. Or can he? Oh, big save. Full time there, lad. Embarrassing. Definitely need to make a sign in this midfield, bro. We've been absolutely cooked in that game right there. Barrow have expressed interest in signing Jacob Horn for 210k. Now, that is a lot of money for this guy. Um, let's try and get a bit more, though. Let's try and get a bit more because that is how much the assistant manager said we should look for. But let's try and get 300k. Can we be cheeky with a bit of a, a 300k? No, they want 210. Can we get 250? I'm just thinking as well because we're going to get tax uh, from the board, isn't it? So 250. 250. Let's make it happen. Thank you for doing business. See you later, Jacob Horn. You didn't like barely touch the pitch in the Dream Chasers colours. But I do not care. See you later. We're getting Joe Bellingham, boys. Oh, another one. Odds BK want to sign this guy. What the hell? He's a, a man in demand, isn't he? Let's see if we can get 300k off these. Deal. Let's go. Hopefully he accepts that uh, <laughs> contract instead of the other one. You get an extra 50k. Michael Kohler interested in going out on loan to Cork City. I'm fine with that. We can always call him back if we need to. I don't know why I'm doing that because we've got no players left, but... Got our scout report back on that keeper that I was scouting up. 18 years old, 57 overall, which is actually lower than our current goalkeeper. And I don't know if I want to spend 500k release clause on a player that is 57 rated, bro. So we might loan him. Should we loan him? We need a better keeper, but I don't know. Let's get him for a year loan. Why not? He's only worth 400 quid in the wage. 50-50 split on the wages. They're not happy. 300 quid in the wage. I don't mind that. So let's see if he accepts that loan offer. We might have a new goalkeeper to the club. Finally making, you know, a, a transfer. Like I said, we were going to win this episode. But we've got the another game before we can try and sign Bellingham. This is actually the team of the goalkeeper that we've just tried to sign. You can see him there in goal. Where is it? Right there. Um, Pre-match report. Jan Tunen. That's him right there in midfield. So this is a tester really to see if he's any good or not actually. <laughs> Listen, lad, I'll slip you a few, like, extra 100 quid on your weekly wage if you just let a few goals in, you know what I mean? So, let's jump into this game. Hopefully, we can repeat the first game and not the second game because, yo, that second game stunk. So let's get into it. One man, the focus of attention. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. That's key today. Can he finish? Oh, my God, defending on this game is impossible, bro. It just bounces straight back to you, no matter what you do. Here we go, though, Klein. Off to the races. Jack Bauer, can we find the ball over the top? It's bad. But Bauer's touched it down. This guy's incredible. What a tackle. What a tackle. Oh, he, he's clobbered him there, yo. <laughs> oh. Schmidt, nice one too there with Caesar. Numbers out wide. Yes, Frederick. Lehman. Schmidt on the overlap, ball inside to Klein, he's found Bauer, and Bauer, that's a finish, that's a good goal, come here Klein, you sexy little dwarf, let's celebrate together bro, Bauer back to scoring ways, and Klein with him, look at that bro, look at those two right there man, do you know who they are, that's literally Goku and Krillin bro, <laughs> that's literally Goku and Krillin, big brolic man up top, little small bald headed man in behind, you know what I mean, come on, what a finish, side netting there, Keeping no chance. That's a great goal again. This man is unstoppable. Come on. 
kick coming up. Lovely turn from Lehman. Lovely ball into Bauer. Who finds Klein? Who finds one more to Carlos Huerta? What a save. Okay, maybe we're cooking with this loan for this keeper. Because that's a great save. I don't know if Carlos on the left wing just stinks. I've not called him no Salah in a while. But he doesn't even deserve the name Salah in there. Even though it's a slander name. Because this guy is not great for the 74 overall. But what a save regardless, man. Oh, what a touch that is. <laughs> and Schuster's been skinned. Oh, that's a great goal. Lad, can we try not conceding five minutes after we score every single game, please? Can we just try it for once? Like one game, boys, that's all I'm asking. No, how's that going straight to him? Big save, Schroeder. Lad, Schuster and Frederick in our defense are selling every game, you know. I would need to replace those guys ASAP, but here's Klein back into Schuster. Can he cut going forward? Oh, bad pass, come on. How's that gone in? Oh my god, does our goalkeeper have any arms? Does he actually have hands and fingers that function? I've never seen him make a save before. Oh, Frederick, you're selling. Nice. Frederick on the overlap. Nice. Frederick on the overlap. Give me the room inside. Klein! Colos! No Salah on the score sheet. It's 2 2. Come on. Schmidt, big tackle. Schmidt, big tackle. Carlos, keep running. Lads, get me inside. Please give me the options there. Klein. Bauer. Klein, you're selling. Klein sold. Lehman. Oh, Klein sold. Klein, come on. No, oh, he's coming off. He's coming off for that. You know, I need fresh legs. Let's bring on Freddy. I can always rely on Freddy. Have me subs aren't even going to come on because they've been passing it around the back for 10 minutes. Oh, how's he got that ball? I'm just going to nail him. That's so me subs can get on. Oh my god, I'm stupid. No. Klein, nice spin. Schmidt. Bauer, nice spin. Over the top, Huerta. Schneider, lovely. Klein, Lehman. Oh, oh bro. Look, me subs aren't even going to get on the pitch, lad. Game's a joke. Should be able to call time out or something, lad, I swear down. That's, that sounds stupid, but when you're playing four minutes a half and you make a sub in the 60th minute and they don't come on till the 87th, like, what even is that? Nice. Just brought on Nimrod as well. The free agent in off the bench. Nimrod, find the ball in. Oh, that, that was the one of the worst crosses I've ever seen. I don't even think he got her off the floor. Keep it. No! What a save. I thought he was going to sweat here. I thought he was going to sweat here. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. We've dropped points again. This is going to be a long season. <laughs> it's going to be a long season. The Bundesliga is a good, like, three or four seasons away, bro. This is crazy. Oh, come on. All right, so Horn sold. Sadly, it was only the 250k bid. So we only got 160 from that. And uh, Schroeder has hit his development potential. That's our goalkeeper. So he's maxed out at 59. Which, you know, isn't the best, but we're getting a new keeper anyway, so who cares? Transfer window closes in four days, so I'm going to advance the deadline day. And then hopefully somebody's sold and give us enough money to go in for, for Jude, man. Because, not Jude, Job. I wish we had money for Jude right now, bro. We'd be going crazy. We wouldn't even be buying players. We'd just be getting alcohol and women. Who's that as well? Somebody else has sold. Oh, that was Cola. I was on loan. I don't even think we should have done that because <laughs> I'll show you the squad now. I think we have three reserves or something. So, um, oh, there we go. There we go. We've got a new goalkeeper to the club. Welcome in, mate. He's obviously two ratings lower than our current goalie, but let's go ahead and see if he's got any potential. 
if we develop them up 23 weeks to go to 58 we can deal with that yeah we've got three reserves we should not have sold that many players both um we do have people in the youth academy which we'll get to at the end of the episode which i can discuss that pops position change has come through so let's go ahead and apply that i trained him as a right mid and it puts him to 61 that is massive that is absolutely massive bro and he's only two weeks away from a 62 as well so let's train his weak foot to four star and it'll boost him to 62 this is a player right here all right then it's transfer deadline day Let's go ahead and try and sign Job again. But we don't have the finances for it, so I don't know how we're going to do it. All we have to offer is 750k. And we can try and throw a player on top to try and make up some money. But last time I threw a player on, they didn't want him. If I give you Lehman plus 750, that's a good offer if you ask me, bro. Come on, Roy Hodgson. Oh, lad, budge, will you, with the 900k? Lad, I really wanted to get Job. What we might have to do is, like, get a pre-contract agreement and just get him in January. But... In fact, if we edit the sell-on clause, because I don't plan to ever sell this guy, so if you just whack a massive 25% on there, then 750k, surely you've got to accept that. 25% sell-on clause, lad. For Joe Bellingham, you'll get at least, like, I don't know, 20 million off that. If we ever sold. No! They want the same money, but a higher sell-on clause. Get out of here. Nimrod Pap, plus 750, plus 25% sell-on. Final offer, Roy Hodgson, otherwise I'm walking out. 2.5 mil, where the f where's he just got that number from, lad? We were chatting 900k a minute ago. Where where's he just got 2.1 mil from? Oh, Roy Hodgson, lad. I know you're about 90, but like you're going senile, bro, for real. That's not how you negotiate. I'm ending this and walking out. Sadly, we can't get Joe Bellingham, but I'd rather not if he wants to chat 2.1 million like that, lad. After saying 900k. All right, what do we do then? Because we desperately need a midfielder in this transfer window. Who else can we try and bring in? We're going in for a loan offer on Noah Lamadi. I fully expect him to reject this. But let's just throw out a bunch of loan offers to midfielders and see who sticks. We're going in for Ashley Phillips on loan. This is a complete, like, 180 on what I said before about only looking for a midfielder. But let's try and get him on loan. If we can split our wages with uh, Tottenham, make them pay, like, 70% of it. I don't mind that. 60-40 they want. Can we get a 40-60, though? Can we get 40-60? That's fine. Let's go. Okay, so we've given out a few loans there. You see Bajetic as well I've sent out uh, and Noah Lamardi. I don't think we're going to get a midfielder right now. That's just how I'm feeling. It feels like none of these midfielders are going to join us. We might just have to wait until January and suffer until then. At least if we pick up a centre-back, we might get a, a good defensive midfielder from the Youth Academy too. That's always a possibility. Let's start advancing deadline day and see what happens, people. Loan decline from Phillips. Loan decline from Bajetic. Loan decline from Noah Lamardi. I see how it is, people. Nah, I get it. I get it, do you know what I mean? I get it. You don't want to play for the Dream Chasers. I'll just remember that for the future. When you start playing for the Dream Chasers in the future, once I buy you and you ask me for more money in the wages, I'll be like, hold on, remember season one? When you were disrespecting the club and you want more money. You know what I'm doing, lad? I'm picking up Adrian Russ. Romanian free agents can play DM or centre-back. Loads of play styles there. Let's just pick him up, lad. If all of these jokers don't want to join the club, let's just go and get somebody who will for free. 1k wages, I feel like he's going to walk out after. I'm so just stupid, bro. At least he's a free agent. We can pick him up any time. But, lad, never try and get me to negotiate a, a transfer, I swear, down. Alexis Vega, a free agent I was looking at to just sign for Crystal Palace too. That's a big L. We could have picked him up. He's like 80 rated, 50 million release clause. That was just cash money right there to recycle, you know? Hold on, is that the lowest defensive stat of all time? Four defending. I... Yo, I've never seen that before. <laughs> How'd you have four defending? What, like, you can't move your legs when somebody comes near you to tackle the ball? Like, that's crazy. So I've just tried to loan Kate Gordon and Ben Doak, but they both said the same thing. Club's not interested in loaning a player. So that's two more players we can just not loan. I tried to scout up these two Leicester boys on the wings, uh, but we don't know how much the wages are going to be, so I don't really want to go in for them if we don't know the wages. We might just have to call it quits, take the L for this transfer window, and come again in January, boys. This might go down as the worst deadline day of all time, so let's just pick up some free agents and just <laughs> and call it a day, man. Oh my god, you're literally unemployed. What do you mean the wage is an insult? If you don't just accept what I'm going to give you, you're never going to get paid, lad. Tarek Salman, bro, you are jobless. Just accept the money. Ridiculous. Look at all these failed transfers. This has got to be the worst deadline day of all time. 
With that being said, let's pick up Kevin Alvarez. I know some people said it's cheating and you get free money basically by signing these free agents, but lad, I don't care, innit? I don't care. Let's go and pick him up. We tried on day one um, and it just didn't work out that way. But let's go and pick him up this time, like for sure, because we need a right back. 5k in the wages is a bit mad, but we're going to offer it. Who the, who do you think you are, lad? Nah, you know what? Actually, get get out of here. I don't even... Lad, go. Get out of here. But yes, it's just gone on loan to Nice. I can't believe it. Stefan, bro, you're breaking me heart. So, last thing before we sign off. We've got our scout report back here. Hey, yo, Benjamin Amos is cooking. Ferrari California left a comment saying, I'd love to see a Blue Lock Academy 2.0 by sending scouts to Japan again. If you didn't watch my FIFA 23 series, we had the Blue Lock Academy uh, based on the anime Blue Lock, where we send scouts to Japan to look for the next, you know, future star out of Japan. And I definitely want to do that again this year. So when our scout comes back from Ghana, or we sent him to Nigeria, actually, didn't we? When our scout comes back from Nigeria, we're definitely going to look to send them to Blue Lock. And once we can afford multiple scouts, then we can send them to other places, you know? Um, did I say we're going to send them to Blue Lock? I am stupid. Black Dash left a comment saying, Scout England to find the next Morgan Elliott. That is another option. Once we have three scouts on the go, this is definitely going to be a youth-focused career mode, as it always is with the Dream Chasers. So one scout in Japan, one in England, and then the other one's free to go wherever to look for physically strong players in Africa, to look for technically gifted players in South America. Yeah, I can't wait to get the Youth Academy fully set up. Finally, though, Nunes dropped a comment saying, in my opinion, you should release every player that you don't need in the Youth Academy. And that is a good shout, because look at all these players here. You obviously only have a limited amount of space in the Youth Academy. And some of these players are just going nowhere. Jankovic, 43 rated, released. 45 rated, released. Huang up front, mobile striker, what we were training him as. He's 49 rated, bro. Get out of here. Decent potential on this guy, up to 79 overall. Psych, released. And this guy's 40 rated. Are you kidding me? In fact, he's not a DM. That's why he's 40 rated. He's got good pace and passing. Let's train him as a cam and see if he goes up to anything. But he's definitely not a DM with 28 defending. This guy from South Africa, five-star weak foot, but no potential. So he can get released as well. And we've got Jordi Van Dijk in that left back with the aerial trait. Good pace and physical. Actually, let's let this guy cook. Let's let him cook. 51 overall is like our standard, basically, at this point. Um, but then we've got George Harris. We've got Eamon Walsh. And we've got Benjamin Amos with decent overalls for our current position in the club. And I'm looking to get these guys in, you know. Let's train them up a little bit more. Maybe next month will be when we sign these guys fully to the main squad. In fact, let's just go and get Amos now. Let's just promote Amos now because we need a DM slash centre-back. So I'm going to throw him straight into defensive midfield. Throw him in over Schneider in that left DM spot. And that sounds good to me. It's always chaos at the start of a new season in career mode, so that is the reason why these episodes have been quite long to begin with. But now that we've got past the transfer window and we won't really have much to talk about in the comments either, at the start of the videos, that's not to say don't comment by the way, I still read and reply to each and every comment that gets left on these videos. But what I was going to say is that now that that's all out of the way, we can just jump straight into more gameplay in future episodes. It's unfortunate that deadline day didn't really go to plan, but now we have 122 days until until the next transfer window opens to try and build up some money build up our transfer targets and yeah let's let's make the january transfer window the good one because we're gonna struggle until then i think yeah but if you have enjoyed this episode and you're enjoying the series so far please like comment share subscribe you know the vibes people i'll catch us next time take it easy